Making mortar and pestles on a potter's wheel. Hey, I'm Jeff. We're here at the Southside Historic Village. This is my potter's journal, and this is the doctor's office. Let's look for some inspiration in the doctor's office today. And so there's what we're looking to do. Okay, the mortar and pestle for our old doctor's office. And this is two pounds of clay. It's one of the rare quiet moments when there's not a lot of noise from the blacksmith shop. But I might as well probably not talk because you can't hear over the wheel. be a great beginner pot because it's fairly heavily made. You know, thick walls, uh, thick floor. Okay, so you can pound it and grind whatever it is you're grinding with dust. And I want the bottom to be round, but we do need to make sure we get the bottom bottom in the center thin enough. It is a black clay that I thought would be attractive, unglazed, and actually look clean compared to what marble might or porcelain. Design for the doctor's office here because it is practically the symbol, I think, for uh, many pharmacies. And generally, I make a much more elaborate and almost pulled spout on pieces, but on the mortar and pestles, it seems to be just really the impression 
of one. And I have just been doing it by rocking back and forth. Okay, with the end of the fettling knife. And it's always great to have a good doctor. That's right. I donated by Dr. Sweeney. And uh, this was his this was his stuff. So and today, all they do is look at a chart and our numbers, practically. Yeah. Some of the inspiration this came from inheriting a bag full of these, so I don't have to make them, but as a potter, it seems that I should. There's just no way I was going to tackle this down the village with people watching. This is something I've never done before. Um, and I haven't made it any easier. We're on the treadle, which um, is something we should have done. The village, I guess this is just like centering a lump of clay and bringing it up very narrow. And then just um, oh, narrowing it down some more. Um, oh, and then <laughs> if it's not tall enough, okay, just pushing down. <laughs> Wow, you know, I was so afraid to tackle this. Um, um, it's not off the wheel yet. Um, I don't know that it's thick enough. I wanted to have it um, fairly wide on the bottom, so maybe I didn't leave it wide enough. Maybe we can bring it down some more. Actually, that uh, might be good. Um, I, I, I want it to have a fairly flat, wide bottom so it can stand up on it, but I will round off the corners so that, um, yeah, I think a wide, flat bottom for crushing seeds, um, and, and not exactly flat, flat, but um, you need to catch this stuff. It, uh, you don't want it to roll away, you know what? <laughs> Oh, after being afraid to do this down there, I think we've got it. Um, I want to come in here with the rib to make sure we've got a straight line around there so that we can get a clean cut off. Slow that down a bit. And then so we get a straight cut off, I want to score it just a bit with the needle so that we have a guide. And yet, I think this can be a little narrower yet. And actually that's good because that'll bring it up a little bit taller. Um, probably to give the idea of we should grip it, it should be narrower in the middle or lower center here and then a little bit wider at the top. Um, okay, so th actually the flat bottom that's going to be rounded on the edges um, is to serve two functions. I want it to um, be able to, you know, have an area that will catch seeds for cooking, but also so that it will stand up in the kiln. And that line that I use to score it helps guide the needle around. Oh, I don't believe it. Um, huh. I don't believe it! Look at that! We did it! They took care of animals because they would, that, that's inhalant for uh, poultry. Okay. Okay. Why was I so afraid of doing this project? I don't know that it was that. I was just putting it off. Um, it wasn't putting it off. I realized I, you know, had the, ped the pestles, the wooden ones. I needed to use them. And the uh, when working down the south side historic village, that was just the motivation. I need our doctor's office. Isn't that now? I can talk about that now that we've got the important part underway, but uh, that we're going to do two other styles on the bowls. 
and again. This is a great beginning project because they're thick, thick and heavy. Should be easy to lift off the wheel. Um, that doctor's office. Let's see if I also see if I can get another shot of it. Is is actually a very small little two-room doctor's office with a little waiting room that had you know the chair um, wheelchair in hardly big enough to put hold a person <clears throat> and um, the examining room so small I, it was hard to imagine that it was really a doctor's office why wouldn't it just be in their home um, and um, um, you know house calls too would have been common in the day but it wouldn't have been in their home if um, you know you didn't want to bring um, anything contagious into the house so that's the reason why or maybe you know at least one of the reasons why I've come up with um, such a do small little doctor's office how it was heated I don't know but um, <clears throat> our doctor, we, there's a number of different volunteers that um, do the doctor's office. But um, yeah, um, the uh, uniform that you saw. Okay, today he um, put that together watching Gunsmoke. And actually the blacksmith, which is another reason why I can't do these videos down the village sometimes because you can't hear me over the pounding in the blacksmith shop um, his wife has an antique nurse's uniform that when she volunteers there she wears and I think we have somebody else who knows a lot about herbal stuff and when she's volunteering there may give more of the Okay, mit witchcraft and magic. Okay, part of curing. Once upon a time. And you know, it's hard not to go too thin. It's hard not to go too thin. You just have to hold yourself back. And, you know, I want to do something else. I'm probably playing with this more than I should. Do something else, but there is really nothing else to do. One that is low and wide. Um, generally, um, when demoing, I like talking to the older people better and those that have some knowledge of pottery. But um, yeah, the young people do pretty good too. Um, just when I thought, okay, maybe two, I don't know. Um, 13 or 14 year old guys came through um, they actually saw the okay the um, ones that were more like for the pharmacy and the logo of it but they were thinking kitchen as I was and knew that well that's the wrong shape and surprised me because it's not really um, a Okay, it's 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 more a thing of before the food processor that um, mortar and pestle not really part of a modern kitchen as far as I know. And there's quite a few cooks in my family that um, I had never seen it used or heard of it used much. Um, and um, okay, these guys knew it was the wrong shape and. I, I figured more bowl-like, like the early first ones I, I, I made here, but um, they thought even lower and wider. So I asked them what they were cooking, and they didn't quite know, but they were on to exactly what I was thinking, that um, um, low and wide would be just the thing for guacamole. and. You know, that's um, done, I guess, with a food processor. A food processor is not really necessary. That pulverizes it to a puree. That it should be really a bit chunky. So, 
that's what we're going for here low and wide different shape on the um, the masher We'll have something to eat. Okay, yeah, before um, we're finished demo or working here at the village, maybe I'll do something at the bread oven this year. Um, maybe we'll do something with the school. I think I have uh, somebody that might uh, help me with a book review. And um, since guacamole, I like doing that wavy line that looks like it should be around the... Mexican hat. I, I find it hard to do at this angle though and get it as a wave, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, I think I did it. <laughs> oh, it, it is hard at this angle. And a straight line. And then the um, Kloppenstein treadle wheel. Um, okay, this was does not have bat pins so we will have to okay lift this off okay like that and I'm always surprised how small it is the waiting room the examining room and I'm told back here there was a body a door to put out the dead bodies and there it is the silhouette of where the door was So that's it for the mortar and pestles. I always like looking into new things. Stop back in the next few weeks to see them come out of the kiln. And stop back next year when we visit the Southside Historic Village for inspiration in the pottery.